hi and welcome back to another video in this channel if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe if you love such content this time round i promise you back to back videos of recipes juices and all that content that you love in here so let us just move and see what we are preparing tonight it is quite cold in nairobi that's why you see me in this attire yeah it's quite cold it's been raining since mid-morning and uh, we have to prepare something warm to just enjoy and so you've seen i've slaughtered um, i'm just going to show you yeah let's go together i don't want to preempt this is what i'm up to if you're from africa then you understand what is going on so let me show you so we've slaughtered this chicken and uh, i'm just about to prepare it for our dinner tonight i have sliced the chicken sorry let me just close this there's someone playing games and it might just give me copyright. So I've sliced the chicken and I'm just about to boil it. I'll be boiling it in this cooker or pot. I've heard people call it pot. So, yes, let's meet when I'm frying it. Our pressure cooker is now off. I boiled it as ribs, which gives me 15 minutes, then I adjusted it to 25 minutes. Probably you're wondering why would I be boiling chicken like that. The chicken I'm dealing with is free-range chicken, which I brought back from the village. And so these ones are normally hard. They are the, uh, will I call them organic chicken? So they are normally very hard as compared to the broiler ones. So they need to be boiled for a while. That's why we had to do this step. So we are moving to the frying. Just come with me. I already <clears throat> informed you that it is raining in Nairobi. And so the weather is quite cold. And uh, this chicken that I'm preparing, I'm also preparing it as soup so that we take to just warm our bodies and so i come from the western part of kenya from the luya community and we are the chicken lovers and so just take this ingredient seriously this is the original chicken from luya land so i'm going to put in three tomatoes one large onion and that is all then for the spices, I'll just put in our curry powder alone and salt to taste and some oil to fry it. You will notice while frying, this chicken is quite oily. It's, it's a fat chicken. It is small but very fatty. So it has a lot of uh, fat. So I'll not put in a lot of oil. So we'll move to the frying part. But in the meantime, let me fr let me slice these onions and tomatoes so maybe you will forgive the way i've uh, placed the camera and i hope we'll be able to get something so just check this this is the boiled organic chicken i've not removed it from this you can see the way the oil is a lot so i'm just i just want to transfer it here so that we start frying i told you i was slicing my onions and uh, tomatoes and they are here ready to be used so we are ready for this i'll just use this one to scoop and uh, transfer my chicken to this pan
So this will make up part of our soup. Just wait on to see how this one will turn out to be. I'm adding in some salt. I don't know how best to put it so that you read, but salt to help this chicken not to to remain firm on the bone. Then I'll add in some oil to fry about three tablespoons. Yeah, three tablespoons of oil. Yeah, so I'll fry it until it is brown, then I'll get back. It's browning well. As you can see, so right about now, we'll add in our onion and our curry powder. This is chicken the way away. I hope you're able to see the browning very well. Yeah. Let me know if you keep from the fire. So I've got the meat in the onion. Let's add in the curry powder also. And give it time to cook. So I'll cover it once more to give time to the onions and the spices to cook well. I guess our onions and uh, curry powder are ready for the next step. And you can see the way the pan has turned brown. That is what we want at this point. So we'll go ahead and add in our tomatoes. Our soup is coming together. Wow. I love. So we'll cover it again for about two to three minutes to allow the onions to cook nicely, the tomatoes, sorry, to cook nicely. And we are serving this chicken with ugari. Our tomatoes are cooked. need to add in some salt about half, half a teaspoon of salt then we'll add in our soup this water that we boiled our chicken with to just make the stew or the soup So I've added in about three cups. This will uh, boil and go a little bit down, but we will enjoy it as soup. In the meantime, I'm boiling uh, water to just start off our ugali, which I'll prepare on this stove. I'll just push our chicken behind here 
then I'll show you at the end how our end product will be looking like. But the chicken looks amazing, don't you think? I hope our camera is doing service to this chicken. Can you see that? Yeah. It looks amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's let it boil. Then we see the final product. So right here, I want to prepare our ugali. The water is boiling and uh, our chicken is on the other stove as agreed. And this is the stick, the cooking stick I'm going to use. So let's cook our ugali. And I'm using uh, maize flour. Some people like to call it corn flour. That is milled from uh, our local millers. This is not store purchased. Normally it has a flavor that the store purchased ones cannot have. So right away, normally I use a whisk, but today I don't think I'll whisk it. I'll just cook slowly until it is done. I love using using a whisk to break this uh, flour quickly and make it fine. So I don't normally eat uh, starch in the evening, <laughs> that's why most of the time you see me serving food and it's without starch. If you've seen my previous video, like the peace video which precedes this one, I served my peace and uh, avocados. So for today I'll have this soup and we are having it with our local vegetables known as kunde so i'll have the chicken soup and uh, vegetables but not the ugali if i want ugali i can eat it in the morning tomorrow So if you're in a weight loss journey, I'm sure you understand that. Sorry. This type of ugali takes longer to cook than the packet flour ugali. And as a, you can see, it is not as white as the packet flour. One. This one has all the nutrients that maize has. The packet one, they normally remove some nutrients that, for example, the, the, the protein, <laughs> protein content of ugali, but this one has everything. So it takes longer to cook. What I've done is to keep adding flour, kidogo kidogo, a little by little, little by little, not a little by little, little by little until it becomes uh, hard to some extent, not totally hard. Then, sorry, <laughs> then I keep pressing it to the sufuria wall as you can see to just ensure there is no flour that remains without having been dissolved into the ugali. So that's the process I'll keep doing until 
it cooks and once it cooks if i touch it like this it will not leave uh, particles on my hands as you can see so until i can touch it and it doesn't leave particles on my hands then i'll know it has co cooked well it has cooked through so right now we are still in the process so in the meantime our chicken is boiling I, i'm sure you can see it partly not sure yeah partly here it's continuing to boil so i'll show you the end result at this point our girl is ready to be removed see my hands have come out clean so it means the ugal is well cooked check around the pan it's turning brown so our ugal is cooked so what i'll do is to just turn it and then remove it from the fire to bring it together so This is how I'm doing it. So it is ready to be removed from the fire. Let me take you to that point where I'm going to turn it. I've removed our ugali from the fire. As you can see, it is very hot. So I just want to cover it. They have said they want to eat it together. So the next thing is to remove the chicken from the fire. Our chicken is also ready and it's from the fire and you can see the way that soup looks. Very simple but very yummy. So the next thing I'm doing is to prepare the vegetables then serve my family. I can even hear my husband is back home. So we'll enjoy on your behalf. <laughs> Let me just turn the camera so that you see me. So if you've been watching up to this point, thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to like it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. And until the next video, Bye for now.